Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Dunbar Snack Bar. It is time for some more NCAA football or the college football mod for Madden. And I'm really excited to be able to continue this particular rivalry, which is the Red River Shootout. You guys requested it, so Stacy, thank you so much for putting that request in. Obviously, I was able to get to it. And for those of you who want to see a particular matchup or rivalry, go ahead and put that in the comment section. And I will get to yours, hopefully, uh, in the near future. Now, I was able to get both of these games played this weekend, which I was really happy to see, just kind of bouncing back from my NBA Finals. And of course, I'm gonna try and get some more of these out here pretty soon. It's been an absolute blast. Really like engaging with you guys and seeing what you wanna see. So again, continue to keep that up. Last matchup though for me really was a tight game. I really enjoyed how it came down to the wire. We'll see if that's gonna continue to be the case here. Now, from the standpoint of playing as Oklahoma, I did a pretty good job offensively, but it was really my defense that I feel like had a lot of problems against the Texas offense, especially when it comes to passing. So now with my first drive here on offense, we're gonna see if I will have just as much success. And I'm hoping that I am because that first drive that I had defensively, we got a three and out. If I can keep that up and even just have a mediocre offense. We'll, we'll be uh, having a good game here. A good throw over to the left side. I've been throwing that a lot more. I'll just go out 15 yards, make a quick stop, and come back here and pick up, you know, a good amount of yards. Oh, great juke right there, and that is going to be a 46-yard touchdown. Now, I don't feel like I have too many big plays like that. Those of you who've been around the channel for a long time know that I like to go with these short passes just well I mean I guess I would should say short to medium range passes tend to be my bread and butter just something I feel like you know I can get going in a routine just a safe bet uh, so I don't see too many big plays like this I got one so I'm pretty happy here great opening drives for me on defense and offense we'll see if Oklahoma bounces back here five minutes to go in the first quarter a little play action Oh, they're going to get the big pickup right there. Gosh, three for three. I mean, maybe this wasn't just a thing where I was seeing Texas having a real good job with uh, the passing game. It just might be a me versus the AI type of thing, to be completely honest. In which case, we're in for one heck of a game. Third and ten, though, getting a lot of time, able to get it off. But all that pressure around him was an inaccurate pass which means they've got a punt. All right, another great uh, great drive for us right there defensively. We're gonna get the run going here. That's the first run of the game, seven yard pickup. I'm trying to see if I can go with it again, but yeah, Oklahoma's not gonna be fooled by that one. Yeah, I lost a yard right there. And I should be pretty fortunate that I only lost a yard too. You saw the way that they were pursuing me. Uh, it wasn't gonna be pretty. Gosh, just jumped over him. Not too much blocking, I feel like, with the screen passes lately. Hey, nice catch. I was really lucky to see him over on the left side. That was a play that was designed more for my halfback. Just gonna angle out and angle back in. But look at this. Yeah, we've seen a few of these passes now that have just worked so well for me. If I can get the pass off here pretty quick. I take a little bit more time and I think my patience was rewarded right there. At the four yard line, I've now got a chance to just really try and play some smash mouth football, run it until I can get it into the end zone. Just one yard away here, one second left in the quarter, get it off right in time, and there we go. Another touchdown for us. This first quarter has been all Texas. I don't know if this is gonna continue on. Uh, if history kind of gives us any indication, no. I mean, that's, it's, it's not gonna stick like this. So I'll be happy with how things are going right now. Of course, guys, don't bail on this yet because there is gonna be some great stuff and that is up ahead. Second and 10, just a short pass. Caught and immediately is taken down. Third and four now for Oklahoma. Again, given a lot of time and with these zone defenses that I've been putting up quite a bit, especially on the third down situations, you see that the more time you give them, the easier it is for them to kind of break everything apart and try to find that open man. So I guess that just was going to happen eventually. Oh, Oklahoma running the ball and a good stop right there for us. Losing a yard. 
Now, I figure they're gonna pass right here, so that's kind of how I'm, I'm set up. They get it on over to the left side. I think that was a zone blitz that I had going right there. So I wanted that. I figure they're gonna go back and pass, put some pressure on him. Uh, it might not have been necessarily the best call, but it worked. Now, again on third down, Oklahoma gets the conversion. So we're seeing here that the third down uh, conversion percentage for Oklahoma has already been pretty high so far this game. We've been pretty lucky, I guess, that they haven't marched down the field and gotten any points yet. But now that they're within the red zone, that's probably going to happen right here. Third and one. Ah, oh, I was... I called that one wrong. That was just a bad defensive call right there. I should have stuck with a tighter man formation. And once again, going with zone, expecting the pass, getting the run. Great uh, play calls here by Oklahoma. Ah, oh, there we go. Good call of my own there. With the blitz, nobody touching him. Just sitting there waiting to see what happens. Does he actually hand it off? Is it play action? So now they're back at the nine yard line. I don't tell me what he was doing right there. He just straight up runs into his own guy, gets knocked down. At least it's gonna force here a field goal, not gonna try and go for the block. Just because I had some pretty bad experiences a couple rivalries ago where I had uh, two roughing the kickers in a row. I just don't wanna put them in a position here where they could get that automatic first down. I'll take the three points instead. 14-3. One minute, 46 seconds to go here in the half. I'm really gonna try and rush some things. And I think I rushed it too much there with the interception. A attempt to try and knock the ball loose. Yeah. We're gonna be looking at more points here at the six yard line, 134 left to go. I just don't wanna see a touchdown right now. Please don't do this to me. Second and goal after not picking up anything through the air. That time though, he keeps his foot inbounds. Actually kept two feet inbounds. I think that's just a hangover though from the, or holdover from, you know, just vanilla Madden, I guess I should say. But, gosh, might as well just call that one a pick six since it took two plays. Barely took any time off of the clock. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and take it here. We're gonna go ahead and run it out. You guys know if I'm showing this, this is not gonna be good. Yep. Literally, just like that, we went up 14 nothing, and now it is 17-14. That's probably the quickest that I have seen 14 points put together in an extremely long time. I tell you what, that was absolutely disheartening, even for me. Oh well, 55 seconds left. I've got two timeouts. So we'll try and see what we can string together here pretty quickly before we go into the locker room. Nice catch. They're definitely playing back, knowing that I'm gonna be throwing the ball somewhat deep, which is gonna make this difficult for me. Here we go, just giving him some more time. I saw the move that he made to start the slant. And I knew he was going to be open for a while, but I did want to milk that here as much as I could to try and get a little bit of extra yardage. Oh, man. I should have thrown it to him just a hair earlier. Another interception. Look at where they have the ball, though, the 41-yard line. If they can complete a couple deep passes, we're looking at a field goal, maybe a touchdown. This The second quarter has been horrible. Absolutely horrible for me. Some of it's bad luck, yeah, but I was really forcing a lot more passes than I should have. At the 48 yard line, you can go with the Hail Mary. So I've got my guys deep ready for this. Giving him a lot of time. That's gonna be in the end zone. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I might've had a little heart attack there. I was just bobbing around way too much for me to be comfortable with it. Not the straight swap. Now, honestly, I was throwing up too. You can see that they had their hands on the ball. Oh, man, what a turnaround. Three takeaways, two interceptions, that one fumble on the kickoff return. That's pitiful. Last 
rivalry that I did with North Carolina and NC State, I don't think I fumbled the ball once. I could be wrong. I just feel like I'd been doing a lot better when it came to turnovers. That obviously not the case here in this rivalry. Is even with the last game, I still had some problems uh, with Oklahoma and trying to keep possession of the ball and just forcing stupid passes. Maybe that's because I'm rusty. Maybe that's I was a little cocky right there too, being up 14 nothing. But I'll tell you what, got humbled pretty quick there. My bread and butter, throwing that to the left side. All right, this little play action. Nah, never mind. Gosh, offensive line totally collapsed right there. Lose eight yards. I, I mean, come on. I need to, to get more than that. Hey, halfback wide open. A lot of times when I roll out to the right like that, I'm looking for my wide receivers to see who's kind of coming along with me, who might have, like, you know, a one or two step advantage. Another sack. Again, nobody touched him. But yeah, no, I'm glad that I was looking a little bit farther downfield to see what my uh, halfback was doing. That was a great pickup. Oh my gosh. That catch. Might be the best catch I think I've had since coming back here and playing this. I mean, I think this should do it justice. Yeah. One-handed grab behind the back of the defender who was in between him and the ball. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that is that is catch of all time. I feel like, especially the, the the catch as of late. There we go. All right, I'm feeling a little bit better here. I have gotten the lead back. It'll be 21-17, midway through the third quarter. Now the question is whether or not we'll be able to hold it. Now you look at the number of points that I've given up. Yes, they've been off of turnovers. They've been in situations here where. Uh, they've had tremendous field position, but I'm wondering how this is going to go here as far as Oklahoma being able to move the ball in the second half. Great plays like this, though, are getting mixed in all the time. And it's these plays, though, that are causing the most amount of yards to get picked up. That oh, was just poor coverage right there. 15 for 19. So, yeah, this is another game where the passing or completion percentage here has been way higher. Then is the norm. Way higher than I would want. Here we are anyway. Third and four. Come on, get the stop here, guys. Yes, thank you. And back there at the 39-yard line, of course, that's going to force them to punt. So thank you, defense, for pulling through. Now, running the ball, you guys have noticed, I really haven't done it that much. You know, six rushes, 33 yards. That's got to be one of the better runs that I've had here. Whew, I was looking left. Finally saw him over there on the right. Glad we got that pickup. All right, first and 10. Let's continue to run the ball. Seriously, another good pickup. I usually don't have that much success running it up the middle. And maybe it's just because of how many passing plays I've ran. Oh, that was dangerous. That was really dangerous. But yeah, with how many passing plays that I've ran, you know, putting a, a, a run in there, too, is probably not something that they're expecting in a lot of situations. Unless, of course, it's, you know, your obvious first down. Oh! Threading the needle, guys. And not in a positive way. I feel like I'm forcing these passes again, so I'll, I'll have to slow it up. All right, run, Ross, change of directions. Really slowed me up right there, but I'm at the two-yard line here. Third and goal. Going to go to my fullback. Only picks up one, if that. Yeah, he got one, so it's fourth and goal. I am going to make the decision here to go for it. Hey, I'll take that. You know, I really felt like there was little chance for that going against me because he, if I hadn't converted there on fourth down, and obviously I'm going to be able to get it to my fullback, then they've got it really close to the goal line, and we'd have two games in a row where I ended up getting a safety come on drop in all right 505 left here in the game 28 17 oklahoma has already shown that they're able to put a ton of points together in a very short amount of time i shouldn't say a ton 17 but in th that amount of time i mean i'll call it a ton all right we've got to find ways to stop them man hasn't been working zone hasn't been working Still got that high completion. And I think it's only just 
going to get more difficult here for me as the game continues. Wow, really? Another example of poor coverage for the Texas Longhorns. Just giving that one up. Now, I did go back and I took a look at this because it does seem really, really close. I mean, this, this angle, you won't be able to see it, but uh, whether or not he keeps his feet in bounds as he makes that catch, I thought he didn't. But apparently, it was going to get automatically reviewed, and when it was reviewed, it was held up. So, they got the touchdown. I guess the moment that they consider having possession of the ball was different than when I did, but oh well. Second and one, fullback again, first down. Very odd way to go down. I was half expecting to see a face mask call right there. Nothing materialized. We'll just keep running it. We're letting the clock run down too, so you're gonna notice here. I'm waiting till there's about five seconds, uh, less in some situations. If I'm like 100% sure, I'm not gonna move somebody around, kind of change things up here, or if the play automatically has somebody. But oh my gosh, those both those guys just sandwiched him. Came from both directions. Nobody, nobody blocking him. But second and twelve. Slight pickup right there. OU's calling timeouts now. Oh, thanks for that block. Keep fighting. That's the first down. And that, honestly, should be enough for me. Um, yeah, that's their last one. Third and two. We're going to go ahead and kneel it again. There we go. That is going to be the end of the game. So this one kind of came down to the wire a little bit too. I mean, if I wasn't able to put some... <laughs> I love that coach. <laughs> but no, like if I wasn't able to put a good series of runs together, I was really worried about how this game was going to end. So anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys come back for the next rivalry. I haven't decided necessarily yet what it's going to be. I'm going to look through the comments again. Maybe I'll just pick one for myself. That's kind of fun. Uh, I think I got one in mind. It's kind of more nostalgia for me. So uh, I don't know. We'll see. But make sure you guys come back, subscribe, like the video, comment uh, on the things that you saw or the rivalry that you want to see. I mean, you guys know the drill there. But anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I hope you guys have a good one.